what's happening. Let's start today with some showing muscles, biceps, shoulders, mostly rear delts, because that's what fills out the shoulders really nicely. First movement, bent over row with dumbbells. I like the versatility of the dumbbells. Nice position right here. Always the bent knees. Bend and row, and row, row, row. You're tucked. You're tucked all under here, the elbows nice and close to the body. Flex on top, flexing on top, flexing on top. Nice. How about four more for time? Two, three, and the last one. That's a classic bent over row. Right to a little thing, old fashioned exercise. I always like that. The concentration curl. You let that arm hang. And there you go. And again, your arm is just hanging. You're kind of supporting it with that inner thigh, just a little bit. And that curl. And that curl. It doesn't necessarily give you a peak. It's just what they used to say. This would kind of peak the biceps. Not really. There's really no such thing. But it's a different way to train the biceps a little bit. And we're working on those showy muscles today. Big flex up top. Always carrying that weight down. Nice and slow. Extra emphasis on the negative part of the movement. That's the best part of the movement. That's where the growth comes in. Nice big flex up top. Keeping it simple as usual. All these complicated videos that you're watching besides mine are all well and good. But how difficult can you make something that's supposed to be fun? I mean, if you're not having fun doing these things, you're not really having a good workout, or maybe your imagination is lacking just a little bit. Let's stay with those rear delts. This time it's a bent over raise, not your row, but a raise. And I like to, I've been holding it this way recently. Again, the knees are bent. Raise. Flexing on top, flexing. Now this time the, the elbows are far away from the body as opposed to in here and the Dumbbells are held in a different position, as you see. Raise, raise, raise. I want you to go to 15, 12, 15 with this. Two, three, how about three more? One, two, and three. It will go right to what I call a drag curl. It's a little cheat curl, kind of, but it's a different kind of a technique where you're just lifting a bit with the elbows. You're not doing the traditional curl this way. You're lifting a bit, flexing. Constant tension on those biceps, flexing. Notice my hand isn't this way, it's flat. That's the way I want you to hold your hand, your wrists actually, as you go up. Nice. Three more. One. Two. Three. And try to omit the swinging of the weights the most you can. If you cheat a little bit, nobody's going to come in and arrest you. I, I guarantee it. Just do what you can with that one. So go shoulders, buys, shoulders, buys. And we'll get on with it. All right, to, to finish off the whole routine, let's go with an upright row. But instead of narrow with your positioning, wide. It really hits the deltoids more so than the traps, depending on your hand position here. Way up and down. Again, I'm lowering that weight nice and slow. Way up there, elbows nice and high. I hear this movement 
is not good for you. It's, uh, you can get an injury from this movement. Not true. All those tried and true movements they've been doing for years, they work. And they stick around because they do work. Way up there, nice and wide. Way up there, nice and wide. Two more. It helps if you make a funny face. It always helps. Upright row, but not, I've seen people do it very narrow. That's all traps. We want to get the deltoids here a little bit. Go right to a, a hammer curl. Hammer curl alternate. Both at the same time, possibly. You see from the side view, it kind of looks like that. These are, these get, actually, these 25s get a little heavy at this point. I could probably do with 20s right now. At this point of my fatigue level, but let's go with that. And again, I do like the high rep scheme. Go to 12. And I may not go that far for time. And be very, very intense with your form. Concentrate on that form. Don't throw the weights around. Like I see so many people at gyms, banging weights, throwing weights, going through the motions. It's about that mind-muscle connection that you always hear about. You know, if you're just throwing the weights around, you're doing a little bit. It's better than nothing, better than sitting home on the couch, but not much. You can do better things than going to the gym, going through the motions. If you get there, you go to, through the trouble of getting there, you may as well go full force. But this is to be done at home. That's the key. You don't have to go to a sweaty gym. You can st stay around at home and do your thing right here. Okay, and subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave your comment down below. I try to answer it unless my computer goes haywire. Sometimes my, my response cannot be seen. I have no idea why. I'm still living in 1975. What can I tell you? I'll see you next time. See you tomorrow.